Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, my hair is totally different. We are still not to the end of this hair transformation process, but anyways, this is kind of my in-between. I still have a video coming for you guys on that, but today I'm actually going to do a shoe haul for you guys. So I went a little crazy the other day um, when I went shopping at Carson's because Carson's is closing if you guys didn't know that, but it had tons of different shoes in it. So you can find all of these shoes at other places because they're all different brands, but these are all the shoes that I got. So let's just get right on into it. So one of the first pairs I got was this pair from Bass go to comfort so they look like this this is like a sweatshirt material and then like a foam wedge so I know that these are very retro looking they're very like 90s style which is actually why I got them um, I actually got them to wear with some flare jeans um, to rock a 90s inspired look or like you know, 80s, that kind of era, but they are actually super comfortable. Now, a huge thing for me with shoes like this is this part always hurts my foot because it stabs into my ankle, but because this is the sweatshirt material, I don't have that happen. So if you have a hard time finding shoes like this, I would definitely recommend this company. Um, they're kind of designed for foot problems and me being on my feet all day doing hair, I always need a good, comfortable shoe that's cute. So, yeah, check these out. I love them. So the next pair I got was from a company called Wanted. It's these guys right here. Now, I see a lot of shoes going around that are this style, and a lot of them stab into, again, the top of my foot in this area. And these are a little bit shorter, and they also don't stab me in the inner side of my foot because I do have flat feet. So I love these. They're super comfortable. They are kind of like a soft leather. I think they're actual leather, um, but I don't know. I'll have to look. I wear a size 8 in these, so I typically am around an 8, 8.5, so I had to go a little bit smaller. But super cute. I love the gold detailing. They look really cute with a pair of denim jeans and like a white loose shirt if you want to go casual or they look good dressed up. They're a really good everyday shoe and I can wear them for work so I love that about them. The versatility is a huge deal for me. So that is pair number two. Pair number three. Now if you can't tell, I kind of like this style of shoe a lot. So this is my other style of shoe that I got that looks very similar to the black ones that I had. And these are from Indigo Road. I actually think you can get this brand from Free People. I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty dang sure because a lot of the shoes that I saw from this line were shoes that I've seen in like the Free People magazines and things like that. So I would check there for this brand. Obviously, you can always check online. Google is a beautiful thing. But I love the stitch detail on it. All of this looks like it was hand embroidered so it's got a texture to it and I love the combination of colors because I'm not huge into color so something subtle like this with a lot of green in it where it's very neutral in a sense. I can wear it with a lot of different like black, white, gray, brown. I have a lot of red in my closet so this is a great combo of colors for me and kind of my palette of colors in my closet. But they also have like this hippie vibe to them and I'm really digging it. So I love the little stitch work around the seams too of the heel and the leather detailing. And this looks a little wooden. So I think that they are super cute. And I love, again, wearing these either casual or dressed up. And they are also extremely comfortable. So the next pair of shoes I got is from actually Katy Perry's line. Now I didn't even know she had a shoe line. So I saw these and I was not leaving the store without them. So I dug for my size and I finally found them. But they are these bad boys right here. So they actually have a little bit of a platform on the bottom of them which gives them a little bit more support. So my feet don't hurt at the end of a 12 hour day. And if you look really closely you can see there's like a blue electric kind of design in this leather and I guess it's not really leather it's like a plasticky type of a deal but I don't know they are freaking awesome there's also like uh, deep ridges on this side so they have kind of that chunky grunge vibe to them and they are a little bit thicker on the top again so they've got more of that chunky grunge vibe but I don't know they're actually way more comfortable than I thought that they would be 
they're actually pretty dang heavy, but um, I love them. So yeah, this is my fourth pair of shoes that I got, and these, you can wear shorts, jeans, I like to wear them where my socks stick out the top, some people don't like to wear socks with them, I don't know. I think they're cute and I love them. So another brand that I found that I super love and I'm pretty sure they have this one at Free People too, but it is called Electric Karma and this is one of the pairs that I got. It's got that same like leathery plasticky look to it, so it's got some shine, but these are like wing tips. You can see here they've got a little bit of like a southwestern look to them, but they're chunky like the Doc Martin style, so they kind of almost look like they're from Doc Martens, but at the same time they've got more of like a hippie look to them. They've got a little bit of an elastic to the side of them so they don't dig into your ankles, which I love. These also look super cute if you want to pair them with like a pair of ripped jeans or tights and shorts or something like that. I don't know, I love them. They're one of my favorites. The next pair that I got from Electric Karma was these bad boys right here. Again, same kind of plastic leathery look to them. If you can't tell, I have a very certain specific type of shoe that I like. And it's kind of trending throughout all of them. So they're just comfortable. I like them. So again, the chunkier heel. And instead of having stitches along the side, they've got like a zipper look to them, so that's pretty cool. I like that this, the zipper detailing on it isn't super bright and like in your face. It's very like worn and vintage-y looking, so these can go either more the grunge side or the vintage style of things. The heel is a little bit higher on these than on the other ones, and this is a little bit more of a faded shine than a bright like in your face shine, and they do have a little bit of heel on the bottom, so they have a little bit more support for your foot. Um, yeah, I like to wear these both unzipped and zipped in the front. Uh, my foot stays in either way, and it just gives you a different look. Um, but yeah, these are super comfy too. And I think I wear, these are actually a size 7.5, and, and I've never fit in a size 7.5 of anything. And I was super surprised that I did. So when you're buying these, keep in mind that you might have to get your size, like the smallest size you can fit into, or even smaller than that just because of how chunky that these fit. I just don't like my foot to be flopping around inside the shoe. But anyway, that is these. So the next brand of shoes that I got was 77, I think is how you say it. It's like the word seven and then the number seven right after. So I don't know, they're cute. But this is those guys. So I actually got two pairs of shoes from this brand, but I love that this is kind of a almost like a deep gray gunmetal detailing on it and the zippers are more of silver tone so you've kind of got a multi-tone metal happening so they almost have the shape of a cowgirl boot on the side and in the front area so that way you have a little bit more ankle space but the heel is again chunkier so I like that it gives you a little bit more support and then the leather is more of like a distressed faded leather so they're not bright and in your face if you look closely on it, there's seams all along the side, so it adds just that subtle detail. So these actually, I have worn them with a skirt, with a dress, with jeans, and with shorts, and you can rock them with all things. And then the last pair of shoes I got, I'm actually super stoked for these. So these are very similar to the other style of boot that I just showed you from the same brand, but these are kind of like a faded navy gray color. The uh, toe of the shoe is more of like a black navy and then it fades into this grayish tone and then it's got again that like gunmetal metal on it I guess and I think it adds just that subtle grunge edgy vibe to them and then again they are the chunkier heel if you haven't noticed that's about the only thing I wear because this girl's not about to wear those skinny stiletto heels I'm just not about that I like comfort and style so that's kind of what creates my fashion. But these I'm actually really pumped to wear for Vegas. Um, my trip I'm going on because I have this really cute like snake skin crop top deal that's got blue incorporated into it. And I'm going to wear these with it with some like high waisted wide leg flare like silk pants. And I'm super stoked for it. So you'll probably be seeing the stuff in looks that I'm gonna be doing in the near future. They are, like I said, all from Carson's, but since they're not the Carson brand, you can find them anywhere. Since I know that Carson's is closing, which is a sad day, 
because that was like my store with when I would go shopping with my mom and grandma when I was younger. So it's kind of sad that they're all closing, but at least all the brands are still out there. So just keep that in mind. Um, and you might actually be able to find these online. If so, like head there immediately because you'll be able to get them for super cheap. But anyways, so yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys want to see more like clothing hauls and things like that, let me know because I've got a shopping problem. So I've always got stuff I can do a haul on. So that is it for this video, guys. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what else you guys want to see on my channel and what style tutorials you want to see. Also, make sure to follow me out on all my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. All the names and links will be in the description box for you guys. But that's everything for this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye. You know I love you.